Find the area of the shaded region. So we have here a circle with center C and with radius of 1 unit. So what we actually need to find here is the area of the sector CAB. So here's my approach. So I will try to connect the segment from the points C and D. And therefore, we have created two triangles ABC and BDC. They are both isosceles triangles because for triangle ADC, the sides DC and the CA are congruent because they are both radius of the circle. Likewise, in triangle DBC, side DC is also equal to side CB. They are both radius of the circle. And therefore, for triangle ACD, the base angles ADC and CAD are congruent, right? So if CAD is equal to 30 degree, therefore, ADC is also 30 degree. Likewise, for triangle DCB, the base angle CDB is congruent to angle CBD. And since CBD is 30 degree, CDB is also 30 degree. Therefore, the total value of the angle ADB is the sum of the two 30 degree angles which is equal to 60 degrees, right? And therefore, by inscribed angle theorem, this angle ADB, the measurement of angle ADB is equal to one half the measurement of its intercepted arc AB. So since the measurement of angle ADB is 60 degree, we have 60 degree equal to one half measurement of arc AB. And therefore, multiplying both sides by 2, 2 times 60 degree, that's equal to 120 degree, equal to cancel the 2 measurement of arc AB. So therefore, the measurement of arc AB is equal to 120 degree. And considering this time the central angle ACB, by central angle theorem, its value is equal to its intercepted arc AB. So therefore, measurement of angle ACB is equal to its intercepted arc AB. So measurement of angle ACB is equal to 120 degree. Now that we have the central angle ACB, which is 120 degree, we can now find the area of the sector ACB. So the formula is area is equal to pi r square times theta over 360 degree, where theta is the central angle ACB, which we already found as 120 degree. So substituting the values, we have area of the sector is pi times r square so we know that the radius of the circle is one unit so we have pi times one square times theta which is 120 degree over 360 degree so area now is equal to pi times one square that's just equal to one 120 over 360 it's equal to one third and the final value for the area is pi times one times one third or pi over three square units so therefore the area of the shaded region is pi over 3 square units